Greetings YouTube, this is your friend Fragments of Memory once again, your neighborhood armchair philosopher. So, we are now entering into the months of the springtime. So, you no longer have to be holed up in your domicile and you no longer have to worry about freezing to death. Well, here in the Midwest, we, we're kind of freezing. It's kind of weird. We had this beautiful springtime weather and then we dropped down to 40 degrees and then there was snow on the ground and I'm like oh my goodness where is the justice and all of that but the creator has a master plan and I think that's really what we need to realize in our lives is that the creator has a master plan and I think we have religion no matter what religion you are messed up in this country because people assume that God is supposed to be your magical genie or your spare tire or your emergency get out of jail free card or he's your escape hatch and not hey he's supposed to be your guiding light and as always I'm gonna this is to me first and then it's to the rest of you that may listen to the sound of my voice on here on YouTube but whomever else decided to look at it or listen to it. That is one thing that I notice is that there are no atheists in foxholes is the old saying where people think about God when they're in trouble or when something goes wrong. They were like, oh God, help me get out of this. But we don't think about God when things are going good. We attribute that to our own ingenuity, intelligence, beauty, wit, game, swagger, whatever. We attribute all of that to ourselves when in reality, all the beauty, intelligence, and wit, and swagger, and whatever else you have came from God in the first place. So I think that should be very humbling that the Creator decided to bestow you with a gift. And sometimes the gifts we have, we don't really think they are gifts because we're so used to them, just like we're used to the sun coming out in the day hours and then leaving in the night hours. Because that's a constant, and we assume it's just scenery now. It's not even scenery we appreciate. It's just, oh, it's like, it rained today. And re in reality, we forget that the Creator has a master plan. I believe the Creator has his hand in everything. Good, bad, indifferent, whatever. Well, not indifferent, but good, bad, and in between. Because the Creator is controlling everything. And when he controls everything... Everything is going to come to fruition according to his timetable in his free in his under his power and with his will. Now, this doesn't mean that you and I should not make an effort to do things in life because effort is good and putting your work in is good. The only problem is, is that we expect God to be like Barbara Eden in I Dream a Genie and just kind of do this and boing, everything just magically happens. And it doesn't work that way. Just as nature takes its time, just as everything does what it's supposed to do, when it's supposed to do it, you two are the same. So I would just say this video is to say, don't be hard on yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself that this didn't come to fruition now or you messed up in something because the creator has a bigger overall plan. And there is a bigger picture, y'all. There really is a larger picture to than what we see every day, whether it's going to work, whether it's running around shopping, whether it's dating, whether it's not dating, whether it's mating or not mating, whatever the case might be, there is a bigger picture, I believe. And we need to just appreciate that sometimes. Even if things are not as ideal and wonderful and pristine as you would like them to be. I just, I just thought I had to leave that tonight because I know that sometimes I'm down on me. I'm down on myself a lot. And I'm I'm adult enough, I'm mature enough, I'm man enough to admit that because I listen to my inner critic as well as the outer critics as well as everything else around me. And sometimes it's harder to just silence all of that and say, hey, look, there is a master plan. There is bigger things going on than we know, realize, or can understand. All we have to do is just embrace that and we'll be better off. 
And sometimes the bad things in your life that happen can lead to better things. And sometimes the better things are really a snare to get you caught up in something bad. And I know that it is human nature to gravitate to what feels good and what is pleasurable and to repel from that which is not pleasurable, which does cause pain or difficulty. But yet, I think there's a wisdom that one must attain in order to come to that conclusion. And I'm still learning it and half-stepping and false-stepping and all the way stepping and making mistakes and stumbling and fumbling every which way. And that's really what that's really what it's about, because I, I see myself as sort of a traveler on this earth, as we all are. And in the journey of life, we do. It's about the journey. and I'm all about the journey. And sometimes I I beat myself up because I haven't arrived to where I think I should arrive. And the reality is I'm on the journey right now. I'm doing it right now. I'm living it right now. And that is that is actually awesome. So. Thank you for tuning in. Leave me some of your thoughts about this and write in the comment section down here. And thank you very much. Later and peace.